Hello guys! Today we'll show you how to create a custom subscribe button for your YouTube channel. We'll also provide the link to download the icons you need for this animation so you don't have to look for them elsewhere. Let's dive right in now. Create a new project and add a rectangle shape to the scene. Place it right in the center and smooth the corners using the round size parameter from the properties window. For our example, we set the value at 10, but feel free to change the settings to your liking. Change the background field type from solid to gradient and customize it according to your taste. Next, add a text object to the scene and type subscribe. Feel free to change the font if you want to and select white color for the text. Finally, align your call to action to make sure it's positioned correctly. Set the duration of both text and rectangle shape at 2 seconds. Then select both objects and convert them into a sprite. In the properties window, set the following parameters. Use as container? No. Show effects? Yes. Field background? No. All right, the sprite is ready, and so is the first state of the button. In the second state, the button text will change from subscribe to subscribed. Here is how to do it. Right-click on the sprite and duplicate it. Then place the copy right after the original on the timeline. Make sure they are on different levels. Adjust the position of the button and start editing the copy. First, change the text from subscribe to subscribed. Then change the text color to gray and the button background color to a white and gray gradient. Nice! Both buttons are ready now. Time to add the bell. In the description, you'll find a link to download the bell image. Feel free to grab it and use it for your videos. Now add a cursor arrow. Again, you'll find the link to download it right in the description. Adjust the size and position of the cursor on the scene. Ok, we are almost done. Now we just need to add animation. Let's start with the first button. Place it at the bottom of the scene, then make a double click on the sprite of the first button and point a movement vector at the center of the scene. Perfect! That control point in the center means that the button will stop right there once the movement is over. Next, make a click on the first control point and set the following parameters. Path start point – yes, start speed – zero. Finally, add the fade in appearance effect from the video effects menu. Place the effect to the top layer and adjust its duration. The first button is ready to go. Let's now make the cursor move. Make a double click on it and create a movement path. To the button, then pause, then to the bell, then pause and finally to the corner. Apply the same keyframe settings shown for the previous animation and just keep on checking the results using the preview feature. The cursor is ready too. All you need is to add the fade in and fade out transparency effects so it would appear and disappear smoothly. Make sure to place the effects to the top layer and adjust the duration.
time to work on the second button and the bell. To get started, select the cursor, the bell and the second button on the timeline and drag them slightly to the left, so that a part of the second button would be above the first one. Now, because we don't need both buttons to be visible at the same time, let's click on the first one and add the fade out effect while keeping an eye on the timeline cursor position. Then click the second button and apply the fade in effect. Next, we need to imitate a click on the bell, right? To do that, select the bell on the timeline and apply the zoom effect to it. Cut the duration and place it exactly when the cursor gets close to the bell. Set the zoom levels at 100, 120, You can apply the same effect to the cursor too, just copy it and paste it at the right moment inside the cursor layer. You'll probably just need to adjust the zoom duration a bit. Apply the fade out effect to the second button and the bell. And your custom subscribe button animation is ready! We hope you liked this tutorial. If there are any video tricks or effects you always wanted to master, let us know in the comments below. We we'll love hearing from you and we might be able to help. Oh, guess what? Hit the subscribe button. More videos are coming soon.